So continuing our examination of the documents issued at the time of birth from the hospital, in your case was in northern Rhodesia at the time, yes. you, you've drawn attention to the unusual typography on the name. Absolutely, because it's written in, in all capital letters, all uppercase. And then what's quite interesting, why I'm saying it's not a birth certificate, although it says birth certificate written here, if you look at the document carefully, you will see that it's got a number at the top, and here it says stocked Registrar General Livingston. What does stocked mean? Stock means it's been sold as stocks in the stock exchange. Then there's obviously the British emblem, and then written birth certificate in huge big bold letters. Yes. And anything written in big bold letters stands out. And nothing can stand in if it's standing out. So in, in grammar, it's off the page. Yes. Which means it's purely a stock certificate with a number on it. It's not a birth certificate because that technically in grammar you can't read that. And that's not a language that's in English either. That is dog Latin or ancient Latin or whatever, big Latin. This is, you, you can't read English like that. That's a hieroglyphic text. And the information which, pertaining to the stock is written in normal Yes, yeah, yeah. And then the name obviously all capitalized. And then the surname, apart from being so far removed from the name in spacing, which means it's not normal type reading, you can't read with such a big gap in between, it means it's two separate entities. So there's obviously one done in the name and a separate one done in the surname. So there's probably two different trust accounts, yeah. And then the surname for some reason is underlined. Now, underlining normally when we went to school and we made a balls up with something that we did, the teacher would go and they would draw a line under our errors and the mistakes that we made. And this is where forms come in. Anything written on a line means it's an error to be corrected. And that's why the, the, the family name or surname is underlined, which makes it pretty interesting. And then it says further that it is a true extract from the register of births kept at Livingston and what makes it really interesting is that uh, it's an extract from records kept at Livingston so it's not the record that's why the actual record got sold it's not a copy of the record it's a copy a, a document that got created from the record that the hospital sold and there, there sits the first birth trust, which is the one created from the live born date. And what happens is that the hospital sell that bond the third day after the baby is born. And whoever buys it waits for the information from the parents when they go and they register the child. And then they marry those two things together and they create different entities in commerce. And that's why I referred to the other document, how they explained how that works and where money actually comes from. The system of debits and credits. You're yeah. referring there to the letter that was sent to you. Yeah, yeah. We, we are the bonded surety against which the money in circulation is printed. So we bond it by a thing called currency or fiat currency. And in reality, there is no money, as they explained to you rightfully, there's only debits and credits. Now, in accounting, you'll never find the term money popping up anywhere. They only ever talk about debits and credits, which means there is no money. Because money comes from coins or metal, and you, you can't do money in notes. And you know what's happening with us but with Federal Reserve notes at the moment. So the money aspect is a very interesting one. But technically, where the money comes from, we create the money. We are the security. We are the collateral against which the money is printed. The only interesting thing is that no one knew about it at the time that it happened. It was all done fraudulently and by deception. And if the parents knew exactly what was happening, that they've signed the child over to the state and they're no longer the parents anymore and that this child is now enslaved by contract, by agreement, under fraud for the rest of his life, I don't think any sane parent would actually ever go and register their child. 